Hello peeps, this is a box that I made for Danny, for her firstborn, keepsake box, flower of life, as you'd expect, firstborn, um, and she's going to have another child, so she wants another one doing her, anyway, same pattern, probably the same woods, They'll both be going into a different box. It's going to be a pirate type chess box. Anyway, this had been left in the sun. On a boat through the window in the sun. It was a red hot day and it made a mess of the box. The wax went all khaki and burnt off, literally. And because all the different, different woods this is beach, it's the main the main box uh, is beach and got mahogany and walnut and then I think that's a cherry here. I can't remember what that is. Um, but anyway, different woods, different thicknesses, different, uh, not thicknesses, different densities. Um, they expand and contract at different temp at different rates so it's it's managed to split the box here there so i've joined two pieces of wood together here but anyway i've got it um sort of looking okay ish and now a little bit of magic Going to put a bit of uh, going to put a bit of oil on it, finishing oil. It's probably only one coat for this one because it's going to be waxed afterwards. Let's we'll see. There you go, see? See how the grain comes out? The coloration of the wood and the grain comes out. It's all good stuff. Just work it well in. Out. Makes the grain pop a little bit more. Just to give the top a little bit more stability, a little bit more rigidity. Rigidity. It's nice to put wax on, but be 
the oil first. Wax doesn't. Uh, wax does bring the coloration out a bit, and it does make the grain pop a little bit. But uh, I always put oil on, irrespective of whether I'm giving just the oil. This oil, this finishing oil. You can see that's what it's called. It's very good stuff. And you can just keep putting it on one coat after another. Very, very light wire wall between coats. Let it dry five, six hours. A very, very light going over with wire wall. Triple grade quality. Uh, quad grade four zero grade wire wool, very fine, very very fine. Thing that you need to do with this once you've finished the first the first coat you can thin down if you wanted to um, the dents of the wood probably pays to thin it down a little bit follow the instructions I'm not going to tell you how to do it because I don't want people shouting at me if it goes wrong and it can go wrong. So uh, the dents of the wood. If you put um, if you thin the, this finishing down, this finishing oil, it'll soak into the wood that little bit better, rather than sit. It's going to soak in anyway, but the thinner it is, the deeper it will soak in. You can get a really dense wood, well any wood, you can do two, one, two, three coats, thinned. And then put it on meat, I'm putting this on meat because it's going to have a wax finish. And the wax is a quality wax. I think what I'm going to do in future when I do a uh, finish with wax for commissions the person that I'm doing the commission for will get a tin of the wax so that they can keep on top of it one or two times a year and the wax I use is um, I've got various waxes most of them are beeswax, but I've got one which is a petroleum based wax. I hate petroleum stuff, but uh, it's a carnauba can 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 wax. It's a very fine wax. And its, it's, it's main use is for lathe work. So you got a bit of a shine on it. Good sheen. And we'll throw some on the side. We'll show you the baby's name, which is here. This is Purple Heart, and you see how that, just that little bit brings it out, that little bit more, it just makes it darker. You can put Purple Heart in the oven, um, 10 minutes, about 80 degrees. It will make it go a little bit more purple. 
purple heart's quite a funny wood. Um, in as much as when you cut it, it's brown and then it oxidizes. Daylight, sunlight, oxygen oxidizes and the purple comes, the coloration comes out more. on the go as well. But the pens that I really, really, really want to make. I take 20 to 40 hours to make a pen. A pen. 40 hours. 10 pens, 200 hours. Hours a pen. Mine usually take a bit longer than that because I don't like using this. I'm going to try some super glue. I've never really had much. I've, got, I've not really got much faith in super glue. I don't know why. It's just one of them things. Don't like it. I like to use a wood glue. There we have it. There's up for now. Put the lid back on. Leave this just. Once you put this oil on and you've rubbed it in, you leave it for five, five, ten minutes. You don't want to leave it too long. And it depends on the wood. Depends on the heat. You're working in a cool atmosphere then the, it will take longer to set but the trouble with this uh, oil um, once you put it on you've left it five minutes ten minutes or so it starts to go tacky and it becomes very very sticky so once you got a coat and then this is what this is the third coat going on now and I'm working it all the time and the more coats that you put on you've got all the different grains in the wood they will um, take in a little bit of oil or each time eventually becomes flat and nice and shiny I've used 15 coats before now on a piece on a little owl I did and it's come up like gloss but you have to rub it down between each coat to get it like that and now this has been on for about 10 minutes but I am constantly working it in five minutes or whatever so without further ado I will grab a taker off for her and just take off the excess so it doesn't become sticky left to dry now six hours let it dry for six hours and then should have done this side first But the 
there you have it. That's what this finishing boil brings us. Brings the wood grain and the coloration out, as you can see. That's maybe not that good. But with the oil on, you can now see how the grain changes colour and the direction. All of these the petals all point to the centre. These oh yeah, that's the centre of the flower, so they all point in that direction. It can be a bit more wasteful cutting wood like that, but I understand it to be called attention to detail. And it does make, it makes things look a little bit nicer. But that's it, there you go. A little video coming up shortly of uh, some pens that I have made. I'm going to make a video of all the steps to making a pen. I've got some nice new fountain pens coming today and I've just got to go and sort out the drills for it. But I've got two drills. As they're quite, 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 I think I need an 11 and a 13. Oh, I've got a 13, I need a 13.5. But anyway, that's, that's for another video. Thank you for watching. Doesn't look too bad. There's quite a few hours in doing this. But there we are folks. That's your lot.